Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created our Laravel project, right? So now in this video, I want to create one of the database because all that uh, that will be totally dynamic projects in our backend, all that our data I want to store in our database. So for the reasons I want to do, I want to create one of the database here, I'm using that XAMPP and here that is our PHP, my admin. So if you want to create one of the database, then you have to do, you have to go to the database and into the database, you can see that is a database name you have to add and that will be as a general and CI. Okay, so right now I'm to create one of the new database as a real estate. Okay, I name it as a real estate. Now this type of one of the database I want to create. So now if you click as a create, then our database should be created. Yes, you can see there is a new database is created as a real estate. So now we have to do, we have to configure it. That means we have to attach our this database with our Laravel project, right? Now, if you want to do this work, right now, as I told you for this project, I want to use that Visual Studio Code Editor. And here I want to do, I want to take this project so that I have created as a real estate. So now if you want to add it, simply go to that uh, file and i want to open with the open folder okay i want to open this folder if you go to the c drive into the uh, local host that is st docs that is our project folder name as a our project six and that is our real estate project so now i select this folder now all that our file everything will be now included in particular that area hmm perfect you can see everything is now successfully loaded in here so i also want to uh, share some of the things with you better i make it as a trusted great now that is our apps uh, I, in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you that is in our apps area all that our controller you will get in particular http and that is our controller so all that our controller will create in particular this area as http all that our models automatically that will be loaded in our models area that is our user that is by default one of the model right and then uh, if you go to the database all that our migration will be created in particular that area if you want to create some of the cedar data then that will be our cedar all that part from here we can actually see some of the data i will also discuss about that things with you and then also that is a public all that our css jss all that our essential images everything i will save in particular public folder area and that is our resources view so that is the main things all that our view file will be loaded from here and laravel using that blade syntax now we have to write down as a blade.php right now you can see there is a view there is a welcome page so now that is actually the welcome page now that is the page actually loaded from here that will be our view page which things actually that will be display in here that is our view page right and then all that our routes if you go to that our web route all that our default route everything will be loaded in particular that area like right now you can see for the home that is for the our slash means that is our home and home will be returned our view page our which page as a welcome page so that is the resources and that is our view and that is our welcome page okay that is the basic all that is structure literally a lot of things i will actually add in particular that area and right now if you go to that our dot env here now we have to do we have to configure it like right now you can see there is a db collection connection and then there is a host by default that have some of the port and laravel using by default database name as a laravel and username as a root and password i don't have any password so right now i have already created one of the database or data database name as a real estate better I copy it and now I want to do I want to add it in here okay now that will be our database name as a real estate great and username as a root and password it because of all right now I want to save it I click as a save all and now if you go you will get all that information in your home if you go to that user account and with the user account you can see that is a username by default as a root and the password I don't have any password so if you have any password, simply add that password in particular that area. Right now it's totally fine. I want to open our real estate that I have created. That is our database, right? Great, great. So right now I have successfully configured it. So friend, that's all you have to do. And all that mailing setup, you can actually add it in particular that area, which I, I will also cover it later. Right now it's totally fine. We successfully created one of the database and then we successfully configured it in our Laravel project. Okay, so friend, that's all we have to do. 
So in our next video, I want to discuss about our default authentication system. Here, Laravel actually provided some of the default authentication system as a JD stream or the Breeze. So for this project, I want to use Breeze as a default authentication system. So how to install that Breeze package in our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.